What it do, YouTube, man? What's up, Jensen Boys here? Josh Brown, another video, my nigga, back with another fucking reaction. We're back to my motherfucking channel. We just got done reacting to uh, Young Moot. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> Young Moot, dumb as fuck. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. One day he gonna get his ass beat for real, bro. He gonna get his, he gonna get his ass beat for real, bro. We just got done reacting to him, going up to people in the hood, asking me if he wanna get if they wanna get put to sleep. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like I said, you come up, if a nigga, random nigga, come to me, I don't know and ask me, do I wanna get put to sleep? I'ma either think one, shit, you want some weird, like you want some weird shit, like some 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 no, it's some gay shit. I ain't lie. I'm gonna think you want some weird shit. Or I'm gonna think you feel me, you want some like, some slimy shit. Like you finna like you trying to you feel me? Like you trying to slime a nigga out or some shit. That's how I'm thinking. That's how the niggas took in the video too, you feel me? But 20 things you didn't know about John Morant, uh this cannot be, I ain't gonna lie. This gotta be photoshopped or some shit. <laughs> It gotta be photoshopped and such. This nigga did not look like this, bro. Fuck no, man. Fuck no, bro. Hey, Mr. Um, I'm good in the West. They down 3 1. I think they play. Do they not? Do they play today? We finna look and see. We finna look and see. They play today, you feel me? Before I, before, you feel me? We get into the reaction. But appreciate all the subscribers, man. Everybody tapping into the channel, bro. Hope you boys having a cool little uh, Wednesday. You feel me? Cool little day. My day been good. You feel me? Had to take a little test early and everything. I know I failed that motherfucker. Uh, but yeah, Leo. Lakers and Grizzlies play tonight at 7 30. Warriors and Kings play at 10. Knicks and Cavs play at 7. And Bucks and Heat play at 9 30. So it's a, it's a cool little lineup, man. But y'all boys tap in. Like, comment, subscribe, man. I enjoyed the video. 20 things you didn't know about John Morant. Let's get to this motherfucker action, man. Let's see. Let's see some. You feel me? Let's see some crazy facts. Oh, damn. Hold on. Rebound drop the duck. Hold on. Rebound drop. Two videos in one day. Okay, we lit. We lit, rebound. I'm, damn, John, this is you for real. <laughs> From having oh, a weird God. childhood to trash talking Michael That's Jordan. Like you, I would have cooked on too. You would have cooked Michael Jordan. These are 20 things you didn't know about John Moran. I don't think you would have cooked Michael Jordan. Yeah, I don't know you probably would have. Hey, I could have didn't know that John bullied a kick for being a Warriors fan. Man, for real? That don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> I ain't checking your hand. You got that Warriors jersey on. One of the stands, and there's a little kid wearing yeah, a Warriors jersey. Disrespectful with that jersey on. He <laughs> was say that again? He was disrespectful. <laughs> with the jersey on. You no mercy for the little kid. <laughs> we in Memphis. Jesus. Damn. John went in on him. Boy, it's all Damn. good. He doesn't even need those kids. He's got number 19. His very own. Giraffe? Yeah. In 2020, after yeah, John took on Rookie of the Year, the Memphis Zoo decided this. to honor him by naming a newborn giraffe, ja Raff. At 60 <laughs> and 100. Here is Ja Raff. Hold on. Whoa. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The newborn? A newborn is 6'3"? Oh yeah, hell no. Nah. Look at my second ball. That boy is six hey, three. On oh, God, son, don't blink. Oh, boy, <laughs> that boy's on God, son, don't blink. That boy don't even. That boy don't even want to eat no food. food. You gotta go to your mama for that one. Man, look at John his jar. Right. Imagine come out of. Really imagine come out of the snap. womb with six three, nigga. Imagine yeah, come I out of the belly six three. What the giraffe. fuck? If they knew about Jaw's real name, cousin number eighteen. He was pressed by a reporter and got exposed. Ja Moran on the show today, which by the way, we call you Ja, but your real name is? Dimitri. And your middle name is? <laughs> Jamil. And that's where we get Ja. Demetrius. Demetrius Jamel Morant Jr. Damn, that's a long that's ass a, name. Uh, interesting. But I was at Demetrius! <laughs> scared. I was at Demetrius! <laughs> you probably didn't know that Ja Morant is supposed to be dead. Damn! Damn. 20, Channel 45 News published an article <laughs> that was jaw-dropping, claiming that John ja Morant had come down with a mysterious illness and died. And over the next 24 hours, the story spread like wildfire, with some people even claiming that John ja may have actually been shot instead. Until eventually, one person spoke <laughs> up and laid the rumors to rest. Ja's sister. My brother was not robbed and shot. If you go and look it up, it clearly says you've been pranked. People are playing in their wish and death on my brother, which that's lame really fuck. isn't cool. That's lame. I really that's lame isn't funny. And I definitely hope they don't think they're going to get clout off of it. Yeah, the whole thing was fake. And off thank the God, because you would have never known ja. about number they six. Look, I ain't gonna lie, they look exactly like, boy, damn. Ja is a YouTuber. 
Yeah, with 270,000 subscribers and over 10 million views. No! And in the summer of 2022, he posted his biggest banger yet. You play football, basketball, or basketball? You couldn't go to the NBA? I'm already in there. Who are you playing for? The Grizzlies. Your new favorite team. Your new favorite team, the Grizzlies. That's the team that ball plays, Jarry. That's him? <laughs> hey, that's lit. That's turn. She said, that's that boy that boy I played for. Ja Rant. <laughs> that's wrong. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's wrong that you feel me. Like, she didn't even know it was you, but she know it. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't know how. She don't even know it was you, but she know you. Like, you feel me? She like, that's that boy. That's the, that's the team ja, ja Rant played for, right? You like, yeah, me. She like, what the fuck? Nah, nah. <laughs> Look at Ja, man. That's wrong. So That's wrong. And so is Ja's sister. But yeah, they looking good. 15, nah, they look too much like I ain't like, damn. To too much like. Morant. This Ja's clone. Yeah, because she could shoot, dribble, and even disrespect Lay. her. Opponent, just like Ja. Damn. I still hey, give Charlie Bucky for looking at like ja. <laughs> She looks exactly like Ja, boy. That's crazy as hell. Is juicy. Because Ja's so good at basketball, the NBA thinks he's on steroids. See, ever since he made it to the NBA, Ja's been dropping bombs on the court. I just want to know this. I, just, I am trying to be funny, bro. I don't know. Why, why y'all think every nigga on steroids, bro? No cap. No cap. Why y'all think every nigga on steroids? Like when Luka dropped that 60 point triple double shit. Did he get, did he get, um, did he get tested for steroid? I really want to know that. Did he get tested, bro? Did they test his blood or anything, bro? But y'all tested, dang, y'all tested Dom. Like, why y'all test all the niggas? Because y'all don't think, like, what? Come on, now. Did Luca get tested? I just, I really want to know that. Not even trying to be funny. Like, not even on no racist shit. Did Luca get tested? I just really want to know that, bro. Because Luca dropped 60 something, 60 triple double. Raise up, go get that job. But it's like, I ain't hear nothing or seen nothing yes, about Luka getting tested. But in 2022, the NBA started getting suspicious. I can't just be good at basketball? Physicality <laughs> just didn't seem natural. So throughout the year, as Ja was bodying the entire NBA, the league tested him for steroids. Not once, not twice, but seven different Damn. times. Damn! Yeah, the NBA is obsessed with Ja. But for number 13, you probably didn't know about the rapper that's obsessed with Ja. See, a ton of rappers Money bag. love Ja. J. Cole, Lil Baby, Gunna, everyone's got love for 12. But there's one rapper that spits Money the Money Bag made a whole ja. song Money by bag, that nigga. Yo, <laughs> who not only dedicated an entire song to Ja, called Rookie of the Year, but also sits courtside for every one of Ja's games, even on the road. But during the 2022 playoffs, Money Bag wanted to go all out for Ja. So he reached deep in his Money Bag. And by ja, a custom diamond encrusted chain that's nasty. That's over 50 grand. That's nasty. Damn. That's nasty. Man's down bad for Ja. But look, Ja's been down even worse. Cause for number two, imagine 20, being that wrong niggas behind you. That. Come on, he once had his four hundred thousand dollar car wrecked in twenty twenty two. By ja his dog too. His twenty third birthday by going out with the boys, and while ultimately everyone had a good time. It became clear that Ja's crew was having too much fun that night. Cause oh, the God. Very next morning, Ja walked into his garage and saw his four hundred thousand dollar Rolls Royce Cullinan missing its bumper. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, bro, we would not have been friends no more. Cause all the all you niggas, we not cool no more. I don't care what you do, cause y'all niggas ain't got four hundred bands to replace my shit. Nigga, what the fuck you talking about? Talk about, I thought, some, thought motherfuckers supposed to make your birthday good. Who? Who? Look, you ain't got 400 bands to, to, rock, to buy this. I'll let you drive, you feel me? I'll let you feel me. Go, go, you feel me? Go pick up some, some, thot, some, some, some baddies in the, in the, in the, in the Rolls Royce Cullinan. But nigga, you not, nigga, niggas doing, nigga, look at this. Too much fun. And dirt and shit. The very next morning, Ja walked into his garage and saw his $400,000. Rolls Royce Cullinan missing its bumper. Yeah, one of his friends crashed his car, but John didn't, didn't even, even care tell because me. this dude took to Twitter and said, Everything's still going smooth. I got a backup Rolls Royce. Damn. Damn, this man Ja's rolling in it. But he should have hit the brakes in number 11 because I doubt you know that Ja once called out the GOAT, Michael Jordan. 
See, in 2022, during an interview, Ja told the entire world he wasn't scared of MJ. I would like to, you know, play against him. Yeah. You know, yeah, this time you're not saying, I would have cooked him. I would have cooked him, too. <laughs> niggas, niggas get around the baddies and, and want to say, well, I ain't gonna lie, I would have been the same way, cuz. <laughs> niggas get around the baddies, I would have been, I would have been like, but I would have dumped on Jordan, cuz, crossed him up. I would have beat Kobe. Nigga, I would have been naming everybody. I would have been naming everybody. She bad, bro. I don't go to lie to you, bro. Niggas get around the baddies and start acting up. Nigga said, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I honestly don't believe Jordan that good. <laughs> nigga said, I don't believe Jordan that good. I think I'm better than Jordan. That nigga said, Shaq? Nah, Shaq trash. <laughs> nigga just started talking shit on everybody, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, baby. Who the who is this? Who is this, bro? Bro, ESPN, come hire me, bro. Please. Bleacher, please come hire. Jeez, bro. I just, what? Who is this? He wasn't scared of MJ. I would like to, you know, play against him. Yeah. You know, yeah, this time you're not saying, I would have cooked him. I would have cooked him, too. <laughs> you would have cooked Michael Jordan? Man, I, nobody got more confidence than 12. That real, that real. <laughs> yeah, John Damn. wanted to smoke the goat. But the very next day, it blew up in his face. Cause a Twitter account by the name of Ball Sack Sports decided to take Ja's comments and twist them, claiming that Ja said, if you put MJ in today's game, he's just another guy. And not only did people believe this tweet, but it went mega viral to the point where even ESPN was airing it on live TV. If you put Michael Jordan in today's game, he's just another superstar. Lord have mercy. It's good job. I ain't cooking nobody. <laughs> bro, he said he don't fuck with bro. <laughs> Man, it really don't fuck with Doc. <laughs> I believe that now, bro. Saying it really just don't fuck with Doc. <laughs> I think that, bro. <laughs> he said, Doc, not cooking nobody. <laughs> you know? Come on, John. Let's be real, guys. Right? That's, that's my joy. <laughs> I, I deal with these guys right now. Yeah. Everyone got sacked. That's amazing. Yeah. And look, it's been jawsome so far, but we've hit the top 10, so things are about to get real. Cause I bet you didn't know that. The job we know and love today almost never happened. Yeah. See, as a freshman in high Lame. school, Jaw was only five foot nine, and built Damn. like a twig. So by his junior season, he couldn't dunk. He was a zero star recruit. And worst of all, he didn't have a single D1 offer. John Morant was a nobody. And at one point, he was going to quit basketball and kill his NBA dreams for good. But thankfully, he kept fighting until eventually he made it to the NBA. And it was all thanks to number nine. The time a bag of Doritos saved Ja's career. The summer before his hey! senior year, Damn. Ja barely six foot and only 150 pounds, attends a two-day tournament in the hopes of finally being noticed. I got added to the camp late. It was like, if I don't call your name, then go to the other gym. My name wasn't called, so I went to the back gym. James Kane from Murray State University was there recruiting another player in the main gym when he got hungry. He was Imagine that, though. The way to a concession stand. I ordered some Doritos and, and uh, soda. I was able to hear the balls bouncing in the auxiliary gym. <laughs> End up peeking his head in the gym and was watching. For that's God, years. boy. Um, I guess that's when he seen me. That's just God, boy. Of watching Ja, he just knew he was special. I called my boss right away and said, "You got to come up here and see this kid." We immediately got to, to Spartanburg the next day, and I was just blown away uh, by his total game. Yeah, this man Ja had a chip <laughs> on his shoulder from the very the real. Next day, Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't want to get sponsored by Doritos after that. No lie, bro. Like after that, bro, I'm I'm getting sponsored by Doritos. Me and my ex whole coat, my um the the recruiter, we getting we getting sponsored by Doritos. First no lie. Official no D1 lie. Scholarship to Murray State, going on to become the player we all know and love today, all because a recruiter wanted a bag of Doritos. That's Man, lit, bro. That is a crazy story, but not as crazy as number eight, cause there's no way you knew that John Moran has a deformity. He's been hiding from everyone. How do you guys find huh? what you love? The fuck you love mean? This you one. Only Man, you talk about that that one arm. that left arm longer than the other. Nigga, I got the same thing. One arm that's way longer than the other one. Hey, you know my secret. See, I thought we were keeping a secret. A secret. <laughs> like, I got the same thing. You know, keeping a secret. I do. 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 I
But it ain't. It's the left. I mean, y'all not gonna stop it, but <laughs> since the secret out now, there you go. My left hand bigger as well. So yeah, Jaws' left arm is an extender. That's a firearm. Damn, hold on. He's my left hand ain't that much bigger. So. Damn, <laughs> my left that nigga left hand look like George. <laughs> That nigga left hand like Kawhi shit. My left hand, you feel me, like an inch or two. An inch or two bigger. This nigga left hand like this. Hold on, my shit. You feel me? You line them up. My shit still longer, but it ain't like this. This nigga shit like this. Damn, hold on. Shit. <laughs> y'all play us? Yeah, I do got a longer arm. It's the left. I mean, y'all not going to stop it, but <laughs> since the secret out now, there you go. My left hand bigger as well, so. Yeah. Jaws left arm is an extender. That's a I ain't gonna lie, bro. I thought I ain't, I don't know. I honestly thought I am trying to be retarded, sounds dumb or some shit. When I found out my shit was the same way, I thought everybody was like that, bro. Cause I know somebody who was just like that. But his shit opposite, his right arm longer than his left arm, and he left. I think it's crazy though, cause he left handed though. That's the crazy thing about it. He left handed, but his right hand. But he he ambidextrous, but he shoot with his left hand, bro. But his right hand bigger and longer than his right arm. I mean, than his um. His right hand and right arm is bigger and longer than his left hand and left arm. But my shit opposite. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought, I don't know, cuz. I don't know, bro. I really don't know, and he Maybe really we just built different, Bill. Maybe I'm just built different, Maybe I'm just is being sued for assault. Yeah. In July of 2022, I invited the best local players in Memphis to play pickup at his house. But after a heated game, he got into some beef with a 17-year-old and allegedly threw the kid to the ground, punching him 15 times. Damn. So a couple of months later, the kid ended up suing Ja and is seeking a gold mine. I ain't gonna care. That's lame as fuck, though. That's lame as hell, bro. You know that's part of basketball, bro. It's been plenty of times, you feel me? Everybody in bump doing basketball, bro. Everybody in bump doing basketball. Did you wait a couple months later to sue this nigga, bro? Like, that's lame, cuz. That's lame as fuck, bro. That's lame. I don't know what you did. I don't know what that nigga said. That nigga said, should I do it to him? <laughs> talking 20 like, million like, 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 like. in cash. Man, there's 20 million court to this day. Man. That boy know he's not making the lead. He said, I'm going to get rich one way or another. <laughs> that boy no, said, get rich and die trying. Miranda's part. <laughs> Fine, what they don't know is that nigga, 20 mil. his 21st birthday by having a water balloon fight. Got a balloon on his head, bro. <laughs> yeah, 12. Happy birthday, 12. <laughs> it was great, um, honestly. I appreciate everybody who played a part in it to, you know, make this day special for me inside the bubble. I and would lit. say um, it made me, you know, happy for the team for having that pool day where we could just be ourselves and have time to go. Man, Josh's party was popping. And deep down, he really is a kid at heart. Cause for number five, Nigga, everybody keep that heart, nigga. Nah, what you still about? lives with his parents. Yeah, he might be a big kid, making millions in the NBA. But even still, Jaws a mama's boy and a daddy's boy. So in 2022, he not only bought himself a mansion, but he also bought his parents one Next right next door, door That's so wrong. they could still take care of That's him. That's wrong, bro. I ain't lying. Having his mom cook for him. This man, Jaws still a baby. I'm doing Fine. some shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm doing some shit like that, bro. But I'm gonna learn how to cook for myself. But damn, bro. I'm a, I, that's wrong, bro. You imagine you get you you feel me? You get that rich nigga, you can buy yourself a house and then your people a house right next door to you, bro. Same, you feel me? Same style, same luxury. Like, oh yeah, boy. Court, I'm oh yeah, he's boy. A demon. And it all started with number four. Hey, oh, I thought you were Demetrius the moon Moran became Ja. See, in 2019, during a game against the Nets, a rookie John ja Morant got matched up with one of his idols. Kyrie Irving, who was known for snapping ankles and embarrassing dudes. And for most rookies, trying to get the best of a vet like Kyrie would be impossible. But Ja, he's just different. So that night, he not only had the first 30 point game of his career, Damn. all while going at oh, yeah, Kyrie, did he block Kyrie shit too? He also did <clears throat> this. For overtime? You miss it! I remember that, for overtime, yeah, yeah, yeah. And once I blocked it, I ain't even look for the ball no more. I just. Went down the court talking shit. Damn, I really put on a show. <laughs> I fuck with y'all though. Y'all gonna keep it real though. I fuck with y'all. That's why I, I, I fuck with y'all. You didn't know that John Morant has his own holiday. Yeah, cause in his home state of South Carolina, April 8th is John Morant Day. And that's a pretty cool flex, but he topped it a few months later on the city of Murray, Kentucky, where John Morant played college ball. 
literally gave Ja the key to the city. Damn. I proudly on behalf of our city council present you a key to the city. That's lit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Get the keys out here doing his people proud, but not every story has a happy ending. Cause for number two, I don't think you knew about the car crash that changed John Morant's life. Growing up, Jaw's cousin Trey was everything to him. He was always pushing Jaw to become the best version of himself. That's he real. told everyone that one day Jaw would make it to the NBA. But in 2017, right before Ja was going to start college, Trey tragically passed away Damn. in a motorcycle accident. And to this day, Recipes Ja's on Trey, Trey everywhere he's gone, keeping long lived Trey in his Twitter bio, posting him on Instagram, and even giving him a shout out during the biggest moment of his life. I'm just thankful for it all. Great job, well, great job. Thanks for your time, Ja. Thanks, Dad. Reese? Hey, long live Trey. <laughs> long live Trey. Long That's live beautiful. Trey, my nigga. But look. We've got one more thing to talk about, cause you might have heard that Jaw's been going through some tough times lately, but the number one thing you should know about him is that deep down, he's still a good kid. See, it's easy to focus on all the negatives, but people forget that Jaw's just 23 years old and he wasn't even supposed to make it to the NBA, let alone become a superstar. So I can understand wanting to go out and live a little. And uh, while I can't condone what John did in the club that night, what I can say <laughs> is that, despite all of his mistakes, John's a good dude, cause throughout his career, he's given everything back. From hosting basketball camps in South Carolina, to donating a state-of-the-art recovery room for Murray State, Whoa! to building brand new basketball courts for the kids of Memphis. Rant is helping refurbish a dozen courts throughout the city, and see the kids have a blast on that's their lit. I ain't gonna that's lit, bro. Brought 12 back to his Keep being team. great, 12, oh, man. Keep great. being great. Yeah, Nigga trying to, you feel me? Bring you down. They trying to, you feel me? They gonna show the bad side of you, but they don't show this side. You feel me? You, you, you feel me? You fuck up one time. You feel me? You still young. You had one little mistake. And then niggas try to judge you off that one little mistake for the rest of your life, bro. But you good, bro. Keep grinding. Keep being better and everything. Y'all still gonna lose to the Lakers, you feel me? 3-1. Remember that shit. But uh, you feel me? Keep grinding, bro. You feel me? Niggas try to hold you down to, to fuck up. But they don't want to, you feel me, build you up when you when you when you doing good, my nigga. So keep doing good, keep you feel me, being an idol, keep being you feel me, being a nigga for look kids look at you feel me like us, you feel me. So keep grinding, get to lead, you feel me. Keep doing, you feel me. Just keep doing you, my nigga. Real shit. That's why I fuck with y'all. Y'all gonna keep it real. I'm just he gonna keep it real. Y'all be trying to hate on my dog and everything, man. Fuck basketball. So to be able to see them do it, it definitely you know brings back a lot of memories. So, even though he's made some mistakes, let's hope Ja can get himself on track and one day come back better than ever. Do you take pride in being a role model? I do. And, you know, I realize, you know, I have a lot of kids, you know, who look up to me, even, you know, probably some adults, you know, as well. Right. Fans, and I realize, you know, my past mistakes isn't being, you know, a good role model. So, you know, me now is, you know, changing that, you know, finding ways to. You know, and pack it up even better way. Put a, you know, bright light on, you know, the younger future coming up to, you know, show them, you know, what what not to do and, you know, what to do. So, yeah. um, <clears throat> just got to be better in that area, you know, be more responsible, be smarter, and, you know, make better decisions. Damn, my boy Jaws growing up. That's crazy. But in the NBA, crazy can go to another level. Like one time, Shaq blocked a shot so hard, it literally cut the power. Another what? time, Paul George threw up a shot from half court and somehow made it. Look, if you want to see the NBA get crazy, then you need to click on this video right here. Yeah, I'm finna go watch that. I ain't gonna lie to you. We finna watch that next, man. Uh, but 20 things you didn't know about John Morant, like I said, bro. Keep, you feel me? Keep pushing. Keep being an idol. Because niggas gonna try to tear you down either way, bro. Niggas gonna try to tear you down. Niggas, it don't matter what it is. Niggas, uh, white people, Asian people, Hispanic people, Mexican people, Chinese people, anybody, everybody gonna try to tear you down, bro. That's just life, bro. But as long as you keep, you feel me, keep grinding, keep, you feel me, every day waking up to be a better person, bro, only you can tear yourself down, bro. Only That's the way I, that's the way I look at it. Only you and the decisions you make can tear yourself down, bro. Because if you feel me, if you, if you keep grinding every day to be a better person, you feel me, you keep making the right decisions, you're not going to tear yourself down, man. But 20 things you know about, you didn't know about John Morant, bro. Uh, Y'all still finna lose, you feel me, 3-1, LeBron James, King James. Y'all boys tap in, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Enjoy the video. We out, my nigga, Pidge.